2009 U.S. team member, Isaac Yorix, 357 miler, uh, Luke Borche, a sub four miler from Canada as well, uh, and a lot of other great names in here. Looks like there's Matt straight to the front. Yep, as rabbits should do. Um, he also rabbited the mile earlier today, so he's probably honed in on that pace. Do we know the pace? 4.10, it looks like. Oh, he's already checking his watch as well. Look at that 100-meter split. John Matt, <laughs> right in there. Uh, Dorian's right in there. He was telling me right before the race that his PR is seven years old, so he's had a couple birthdays with that PR, and uh, he's, he's promised that it would go down today. I think, yeah, I think Dorian, NCAA champ in the 3K in 2010, and he is sitting right now in third. We have Reed Buchanan in fourth. We'll get another, some more hip numbers for you as well. I think Luke Berche is sitting in second right now behind the rabbit. All right, and we'll try to get a 400 meter split for you. Oh, they must, they've gone through the 400, my bad. <laughs> Okay, it looks like Colby Gilbert sitting back there. Colby Gilbert at this meet last year ran 7.49, uh, closing well, breaking the University of Washington school record. Uh, also, NCAA champion in the 1500, Chad Noel is in this heat. So interesting, stepping up in distance a little bit here. We got a hip number on Chad Noel? I don't see Chad's hip number, but I do see him in the back, just plain Ooh. cool. Just yeah. uh, outed him there. Some people say the back is not good, but I say the back might be smart. Some say it's the best. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. That's we'll coming see from a person who yeah. runs bold, from the back. Bold track. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, they're stringing out here. Um. Okay, and it looks like they're coming up on the 800 now, and it looks like 206, 207 for the 800. Uh, that's right under eight minute pace. Yep, and the, the winner of the, the slower section just before um, was 7.58. Mahmoud Musa, brother of Amar Musa from Colorado. A little sibling rivalry going on, I'm sure. I'm sure it stung for Amar to see his, uh, I think it might have taken down Amar to PR right there, so good job, Mahmoud. Ooh, I'm sure Eli Manning can relate to that. Hmm. It's like, Graham Crawford is also in this heat. He's a 330, I believe 30, 338, 1500 meter runner. Uh, he's also hanging out in the back with the rest of the milers. Craig Nowak, a All-American from Oklahoma State is in the back as well. Um, as you see all those bright orange jerseys from Oklahoma State back there, the pokes. Darn pokes. Uh. Who's the Portland guy? He's looking pretty. He's looking pretty smooth. Yeah, Reed Buchanan. I was actually talking to the Portland coach Kevin Williams earlier today. I guess volunteer assistant Kevin Williams, and he was saying Reed is very fit right now. Looking for uh, I think Willie Kincaid broke the Portland school record 7:48 a couple weeks ago in Portland, and I think Reed wants to take that down as well. So we'll have to see how this how this goes. Looks like Matt Hillenbrand has stepped off now. Brought them through 1,200 meters. Oh, nice. Luke Brache is now yeah. taking the lead. A little more than 12 there. Dorian's on. Oh, stumble, oh, stumble like in the infield. And, ooh. ooh, and he looks good. He was making lots of moves early, though. Been there, big guy. All right, Portland, Portland's regrouping. There we go. All right, Luke Brache to the lead. Dorian already sitting in second. We have Reed Buchanan. We'll have to get a name on number on a couple of the other guys here. Peter Corrigan's moving up. Peter Corrigan, a 5K guy from Canada. Isaac York's looking like he's moving up a little bit on the outside. Haven't talked much about Isaac. He ran, I think split 357 on their DMR a couple weeks ago. Followed it up with another 140, I believe 148, 147 maybe, uh, 800 as well. So right now the NCAA lead is Patrick Tiernan from Villanova. He ran that, uh, was it yesterday? the fast track national league. Ah, yeah, he, uh, Patrick ran a 748, and that's the NCAA leader, so senior. Also, Phoebe, someone we haven't talked about yet, Grant Fisher, high school phenom, now at Stanford, running unattached today. He, where's Grant right now? Looks like he's up there in the top, top five or six, sticking his nose in it with the big guys, Ooh. upperclassmen. 
Yeah. Looks like things are starting to bunch up a little bit behind Dorian here. Usually a, a sign that the pace is slowing. Do we have a, do we know what the pace is, right? We should probably get some splits for these people back home. Ooh, Ooh sorry about that. Well, right now with this arbitrary mark there at 514. <laughs> um, Dorian looks like he is chomping at the bits. Let's uh, see Greg Metcalf telling me Colby Gilbert to move up. It looks like Isaac and Colby are starting to get up. They see the pace is slowing down just a little bit. Yeah, hometown favorites. So you have experience with the 3K, Riley. At what point does it kind of start hurting or do you start kicking? I'd say they're approaching 2K right now and I think a lot of people are starting to feel a little, little uncomfortable. So with a K to go, uh, this is where you really got to buckle down right now, try to focus in, and this is where a lot of time can be made up in this last K right here. All right, Colby Gilbert to the front now, Dor followed by Dorian. Isaac's hanging in there. A lot of speed up in this front pack right here. All right. Ooh, Let's hometown favorites taking one, two. Yeah, here comes come UW. Defending their home turf right here. Dorian's hanging in there well. It's nice to see Dorian back. Hey, now he's been really fit, running a lot of great workouts recently. Let's watch him him rally in this light these last couple laps. Looks like we've got two to go here. Two to go, so that's oh. about 600, yeah. 600 meters and some change. Both Colby Gilbert and Isaac Yorks had great cross-country seasons, both All-American for the Huskies this year. They're coming up on a quarter to go. Yeah, here we go, 400 meters to oh, go. Oh, Metcalf running along beside his, his athlete. So it looks like they were 650 with a quarter to go, so they're gonna run, this is going to be a pretty good little time right here. What a... I think we might see the national leader in this race. All right, so 704 with a lot to go. Uh, looks like Chad Noel is hanging back down a little bit. Yeah, it's looking like the college kids are. Yeah, Grant sharp. Fisher mixing it up with Colby Gilbert and Isaac Yorks. Oh, is that Grant in second? That's Grant Fisher right there in second. Oh, nice. Running with no pressure. No pressure. Oh, taking the lead. Colby Here we Gilbert. go. Oh, we have got a race. Isaac Yorks 150 wide. to go. It's a clean Here we run. Go. Coach Metcalf Kentucky going is crazy. coming. Kentucky is coming. He's my vote. I don't think that's Kentucky, but well, here we come. Uh, you got Isaac blue. Yorks and Grant Fisher. Ooh. Colby Gilbert fading a little bit. Here it goes. Trip, trip wide. Air Force. Oh, Air Force. Here we go. Oh, gosh. Grant Fisher and Isaac Yorick's coming to the line right now. 749, 750 for Grant Fisher. Isaac Yorick, 750 as well. So that was a little bit slower than the heat before. Looks like that's Grant, or Isaac Yorick should punch his ticket for NCAAs. Grant Fisher obviously unattached. But wow, great close by both of those guys right there. Wow. So last 400, about 59. So if you were Grant Fisher, would you do USA indoors? It's a tough question. Why not? I guess if he got, might as well mix it up if he has, uh, I don't know, I think it's a long year. I think he's probably getting ready for, for a big outdoor season running on a right now. So I'd say game up for some of those Stanford meets. Also, right. I may run the 3K at uh, US indoors, so prefer not to lose oh, to yeah. freshman high school or college. Yeah. There you go. Well, thank you very much, guys, for letting us join Join you. It's been fun. We'll hand it back to uh, to the professionals.